Hello, hi guys. Yes, welcome to day 148. Uh, today I'm doing morning because afternoon and later part of the evening, I'm out uh, doing some work. Uh, anyway, so I thought uh, let's show you guys what's my progress weight wise. So let's see if I can switch this around. Yes. So my weight so far has been. Let's see. It shows 95.3 So, yep, I have, uh, you know, it's been going up and down But I'm still at the range of 100, uh, sorry, 100, <laughs> 95 So just now as to show you the weight, um, yeah So it's still going, um, still kind of hanging there So, okay, without further ado, today let's start uh, I'm going to do early because, like I said, evening I have something on So I have to go, I will have to get going to set up some work so let's start doing early morning exercise i mean as time goes by i may try doing maybe in the early morning like eight seven or something like that so let's see how my body goes uh if my body can you know still remain quite uh energetic at the end of the day so um you know i try not to do too late because i'll be pretty tired but if I do too early, the problem is, not say too early, if I do it morning, uh, I may spend so much energy the rest of the day, I'm like, ah, oh, pretty tired. So it's just kind of what happened the other day when I did it in the morning. So yeah, hi, hi guys. Thanks. Oh, hi. Thank you. Hi, Kawi. Yeah, 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 let's go. So I did it yesterday night. The, today, like I said, because afternoon and the evening, I got some work I need to settle. So I don't think so I can fit in the time to do my exercise later in the evening. So I thought I might as well do a morning exercise and then um, followed by maybe a bit later I'll have my earlier lunch. And so okay, I can do my work. Yeah. So let's go, let's go. Oh wait, hold on. <laughs> Forgot to suddenly switch to my okay. So I know what's playing and stuff like that. Okay, let's go. Yes, first thing in the morning, so it's more energetic, you know. Uh, it's okay, even there's not much people viewing because people will be busy now at work, obviously. I do see that I have a lot of like more stretch marks now because now I shrink back quite a bit. So I have a lot of excess skin fold. You can see a lot of excess skin fold at the side so i'll try to deal with it you know through exercise and maybe building my muscles but um yeah i need to figure out if there are ways maybe naturally to help uh, maybe tighten the skin or losing the excess excess skin because this is with me for what 18 20 years so once you lose the fats inside and your muscle like i said is not catching up as fast as much uh, all the skin will be excess there and uh, I've seen before my friend who have lost like 30-40 kg in a year he has so much excess skin he's really he's really hanging loose I mean good for his health uh, but I don't know I've asked doctor before you know excess skin can only be done technically like some kind of plastic surgery or something cosmetically to remove but I'm not going to do that uh, I don't believe in that I'd rather have I mean, to me, it's not like I said, to me, it's not about the out outlooks. But of course, the skin is not causing problem. It's fine. It's just that uh, it'd be good as an indicator, like, if my skin's condition could tighten up a bit. And so, no so much excess uh, skins around. And start building up maybe the muscle to tone it so that the skin will get filled up with more of the muscles. But again, in due time, this is just day what? This is day 148 for cardio. But in terms of muscle workout, it's only like what, 19, 20 days I think, so far. So, been doing only moderate because, wow, for 18 years, I've not, 18, 20 years, I've not really exercised my muscles at all. So, pretty, pretty unfit. Hi, hello. Sawadee kap. Annyeonghaseyo. Konbawa. Eh, konbawa? No, ohayo. Ohayo gozaimasu. It's morning. I shouldn't say konbawa because every day I'll say konbawa because I'm doing it at night. Today I'm doing morning because later afternoon and evening I've got some work to settle. Don't think so I can fit in any time to do my gym. So for my workout. So let's do it early in the morning man. Hi, how many kg have you lost? Yeah, 
I've lost 18 kg, 1 8. I started in January with 113, about 114 kg in January. And so in the past, for not necessarily June, right? Coming in June, so about five, six months. I started around mid, mid January, lah, okay? So about five months in, 148 days, I lost 18 kg. So now it's, uh, this morning, I weigh myself. If you guys saw me just now, I did weigh myself about 95.2. So 113 to 100, eh, so let's say 113 to 95, I lost 13 plus, uh, what's that, 95.5, 18, yeah, 18 kg. So in the five, five months since, I lost 18 kg, 1.8, and it comes up to roughly on average about 1 to 1 point something, about 0.8 to 1.2 kg per week, roughly, it depends. But if you look at my chart, I did from time to time put out my weight chart uh, that I'm losing, um, some week, eh, sorry, some month, three point something. Some month, four point something. Some month, uh, almost like only lost one plus kg. But because now it's already beyond the first ten percent, so my weight loss is definitely much more uh, plateauing, gradual. So yes, I need to keep pushing, of course. Um, but again, this is not a race. I'm not having disease or anything. So therefore, not like super crazy to oh. Uh, to quickly lose the weight and get healthy as soon as possible. Gradual, slow and steady, uh, making a good habit of this is always a uh, key, key to health. But at least so far, yeah, it's been pretty good. Like I said, I can totally feel my fitness level uh, going up and stuff like that. Oh, hi, what's that? Well done, keep up good work. Thank you, thank you. <clears throat> Hope you can inspire others. Yeah, I did, thank you so much. Not that I want to inspire others. I did this for myself, seriously, for selfish reason. The video is my own way to account for my actions and being topless is basically not like me being narcissistic See, oh my god how sexy no 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 okay come on this is like again not body shaming but to me i feel this is nothing to do with sexiness but more to do with accountability because making a good habit success comes when you have accountability there are so many times in my 30 plus years in the past where i want to do something or be a new year resolution birthday resolution whatever resolution it doesn't work because there's no accountability. You don't put yourself out there, tell the public or tell to yourself, you know, and have, have a actual means. For me, this is my means of accountability, like putting a video showing me having progress. So if I don't do it, I look back, uh, basically you'll see that, hey, you know, there is progress, there's change already. So you've got to keep going, keep going, you know. Too often people do not account for their actions and therefore um, they just do it for fun. <laughs> And it will not work. And that's how I failed in the past because I do not account for my actions. And I say, okay, I should go for a diet. And then I'll be eating chips. I'll be eating ice cream every day. And say, okay, that's tomorrow. So tomorrow, that's always tomorrow. And you'll come to a point, which unfortunately it did for me, where my health deteriorated quite a bit. Relapse, like I said, has this problem. Spine surgery done, 2007. Two relapses so far. So that relapse again, really, are defining points which tell me like work out man seriously and my emotional trigger of this actual change was because in new year i got two friends who passed away uh they're not very big either one is like a bit cubby he was bigger but he just slimmed down so i thought that oh maybe he, he's actually doing well or something maybe he has other diseases i do not know uh he didn't tell me but his brother messaged me back saying that he passed away in october because i'm not like contact with him he's in indonesia for a while but I do on and off see him in Facebook chat a bit and then he passed away in October I didn't know my god and he passed away due to heart attack and another friend and she had a friend's girlfriend but I, I did chat and I know her before uh, New Year around that time and they're around my age okay probably slightly older but it's definitely within five years plus minus I think so what happened is um, yeah he passed away internal organ failure uh, she's, she's like healthy and good looking but again it's not the looks and you can't tell for exterior uh, but she has suffered some disease and unfortunately yeah you know she died young in that sense so and another friend's in-law actually diagnosed with cancer so they had to bring forward their wedding plan by one whole year so all this shook me up literally shook me up like wake me up as well that hey do something about health I know my health is deteriorating because be it the surgery, uh, slip disc problem that's been recurring time and time again. 
and also generally my fitness level just uh, go really really bad because you know if I run short distance I'm panting really badly uh, when I'm sick I'll be sick like for three weeks despite even seeing doctor or taking medication so I know my body is in pretty bad shape okay so and, and by shape I mean like fitness I'm not talking about okay, how the size you could be big size small size tall short doesn't matter if your health internal health mental health is good you can sustain, you know, you can actually still eat the kind of food and stuff like that. I'm not like encouraging people to eat bad food or junk food or fast food, but if your body can take it, you have the fitness level to metabolize all this processed food. Good for you, of course I envy, but good for you, your body and genetics and environment basically works for you great. For me, unfortunately, because I have also family medical history, pre-diabetic, hypertension, and I'm also pretty hypertensive, I've been on medication or ethanol for a while. Ever since I changed my diet and exercising and stuff like that, everything went better. On the up and up. And like I say, accountability doesn't mean just putting a video or writing a blog or writing a vlog. I mean whatever. Putting out there to account for action is also tracking. So that's the part that a lot of people don't do, which is what so far 148 days I've done. I've met four to five doctors. Or at least four doctors and one fitness professional and each of them tell me my progress and I track them every few months every like three months and now six months later I need to do another tracking as well and the last two blood tests my results actually went up yeah so fatty liver problem went away my cholesterol everything has been actually fine uh, actually I don't have any cholesterol problem but hypertension also kept in check uh, of the medication and there's so many things like there's so many things going on that is really beneficial to my health due to my change in diet slimming down and also getting healthy I mean I can't imagine the day that I say this to anyone because for plus 30 plus years I just gave up my life in, the, in getting fit seriously because it didn't work it just didn't work I guess I didn't get the emotional trigger to wake me up to actually get healthy but now yeah I see the impact and it has been really really positive and uh, yeah, I better live my life in a more positive note than going down the drain and who knows, die early or worse, don't die, suffer disease, depend on medication, depend on others to take care of you, sorry but to me that's worse, that's not living straight, that's not quality of life. But of course, there are people who, like I said, uh, me included I think, you know, you don't win the genetic lottery, you are predisposed to some genetic illness or yeah, family history of, say, heart attack, uh, certain diseases, cancer even. It is possibly genetic and uh, as they say, the research has shown probably epigenetics as well. It was the environment, you know, affects you. So if your work is stressful, affects as well, you know, increase your stress level which has been shown to trigger many other problems. So my past six months on a personal sabbatical, I quit my job in November, doing my own so-called learning, burning through my own savings, but it has been quite an interesting journey because I've read so much about people doing personal sabbatical, you know they're on sabbatical in their one year, two year or maybe even more, although technically uh, I'm not I'm not religious, but if I'm wrong, I'm not wrong, the word sabbatical comes from religious context where it's like you rest for seven, I don't know, seven years or something, I'm not sure like without work to focus on yourself, stuff like that. So I'm taking this time to focus on myself, changing my habits, cooking for myself. I've never eaten outside except for those three, four days because of some event, no choice. Uh, and I never miss a single day of exercise since I started. So 148 days is really 148 days back to back. Uh, even when I'm outside, I will try to find a gym and do at least 30 minutes of cardio exercise to start burning off the calories and stuff. And you know, yes, my change is a bit more extreme. Uh, I started the change in diet like two years ago, but this 140 days is a bit more extreme because I I reduced from three to two to one meal a day now. Uh, actually for 40, 140 days, it's been one meal a day, or one and a half, depends, because sometimes at night I'm really hungry, and then I'll eat nuts or, or fruits. 
Oh, like yesterday, I think I'm a bit of chow mushi to taste. I should have been for today, but I ate it. But thank God this morning, my weight is still down, so it's not like I gained crazily. But yes, uh, I can do without that. So anyway, it depends. <laughs> but majority, like 80%, 90% of the time, I drink just one meal. And because I need to control the kind of nutrients that go into your body, you have to cook for yourself. Then you can control uh, the kind of ingredients, you know. Uh, so I also cut off sugars. The only sugar is for natural, you know, bananas and stuff like that. So many things have to work. Have the kind to of play in order to actually you know get fit. I know this is too much of a hassle. To me, if I were to see someone doing this in the past, I'll be like, damn, like, thank you very much. You can keep your uh, health regimen. I have, I don't any part of it. It's like it's crazy. It does look and feel crazy, but since I've been doing this slowly over time, like at my heaviest two years ago, 2017, I was 126 kg. I slowly changed my diet. It's a gradual habit that accumulates to, you know, the current state I am. And I'm still hacking my life in a way. I'm still thinking about ways to, uh, could I do this better? Could I increase intensity? Should I eat certain things? Should I not eat certain things? So, and cooking for myself means that I could control the kind of uh, ingredients and food that goes in and reduce processed food or <laughs> altogether cut off, low carbs. So it's almost like keto, but it's not exactly because I should check with the dietitian and I showed her, I brought my lunch literally, showed her and she helped me calculate the dietitian in the hospital, calculate the amount of eat. So yeah, she understands it's not exactly keto and it's not, it's not like I'm, I'm, I'm promoting keto or paleo or whatever diet, not really. It's more like I understand my body that I have to reduce the starch, I have to increase the other better micro, macro, nutrients, uh, vegetable intake definitely, and uh, proteins. Uh, both from veggie and some from meat um, but reduce greatly the sugars and sugar is not just a sweet sugar but starch okay all the starches uh, currently the starch I do get is sometimes brown rice or sometimes brown rice pasta otherwise it's mostly, mostly from um, natural starch that's like in potatoes roots vegetable yam carrots stuff like that again I don't overeat moderation so there's so much uh, anyway if you guys want to know more, I'm still on in progress of writing the blog. I created a blog for generally my life, but also mostly focusing on the health aspect. It's called tlip, tlip.wordpress.com. Go check it out. Uh, yeah, I hope say in WordPress because <laughs> my actual tlip.com is for my art, my creative outlet. So I'm not, I don't mix personal life into that. That's more for my creativity. That's like tlip studio, so to speak. So tlip.com is my art. Tlip.net, uh, I'll be evolving to do something else. Previously, it was also for posting some of my other pictures. So, this blog that I've been creating, uh, you know, I'm still finding ways of how should I present it in the best way. I did put one or two pictures, some posts only, uh, and my thoughts about this journey. Uh, yes, it has inspired people because uh, I'm not doing this to deliberately inspire others. It's really, like I say, for my own uh, self. I wasn't selfish, but it's for myself first. You know, if you can't take care of yourself, how to take care of others, right? But again, I'm not setting out to like, oh, deliberately do this to take care of others. But as a consequence of this, other people have been messaging me, have been saying that, oh, I encourage them to change, to start exercising, and so on and so forth. I keep getting such messages. Personal message, direct messaging, through all my social media. So, uh, very positive. Very positive so far. Uh, except for, you know, some friends who do not understand thought that I'm doing this, like, am I backing some endorsement? Uh, in fact, in fact, I got friends and classmates and strangers, at least two to three already, uh, who are successful in their own field of so-called health and fitness and, and supplements and diet plan or whatever, approach me, seriously. Uh, like, they want to collaborate, they want me to actually help them. Nah. Again, as far as possible, possible, I'm doing this to show people that hey, you can change yourself naturally, I mean through natural means, and not have to succumb to commercial or so-called supplement and stuff. I mean, I'm not saying it doesn't work, but I don't believe in it because my 30 plus years, I tried supplement bars before, and the irony is my dad passed away in the last few years. He was selling health product, but he passed away. 
for health related problem. Obviously, it doesn't help because he is not taking care of himself back then. He smoked, he uh, plays mahjong till midnight, uh, he still drinks as well. So it's just bad. Uh. And uh, us kids, siblings, his sons and daughters had advised him to change, he doesn't want. So again, see, so, you know, it's unfortunate. But that's the point, uh, is that I'm not endorsing any product. Yes, there's a thing called keto, yes, there's a thing called certain diet, yes, there's a thing called certain health bar, or protein shake, or whatever. Uh, to each his own, if it works for you, and doesn't detriment your health, go ahead, you know, maybe it works for you. Uh, your body can take it. But for me, I want to approach from a natural point of view, from a more holistic point of view, and change naturally. Again, this is not competition, and I'm not earning money from this, although it'd be great, yes, if you could learn from it, but again, that's not the purpose, because you'll be a sellout. You'll be selling yourself out for the purpose of profit. And then, that totally clouds the whole point of health. I really feel that the health industry, yes, it's a money-making industry, it's a huge industry, trust me, huge. Everyone should know that by now. Health and beauty industry, huge. They earn billions of dollars per month, I guess. But I don't want a part of it because unless it's a spin-off, meaning my change is a way to show my determination and willpower. A company approached me to do something else, maybe not related to health or indirectly. And because they see that hey, you know, I have the willpower to change and that my health is getting better, then that's fine, you know, because I'm not endorsing a product or a service to say that by doing that you will suddenly lose weight or you'll be super fit, become superman, you know, stuff like that. So no no no. Uh, so yeah, so that's where I'm at. Uh, yes, like I said, I turned down a few people. There's someone from, I think Malaysia or Indonesia, a lady who sells supplement bar. And uh, she approached me like wanting to collaborate. But first thing I tell her, if it's about me endorsing a product, sorry, I appreciate your business, but I don't, I don't, I'm not interested. So that's it, no, she wished me the best and that's it. And another classmate, he's like into the fitness. I'm not sure, I think he has a gym or something, but he wanted to collaborate also. He said, oh, there's a competition. Uh, yeah, you could lose weight. Uh, again, it'd be great because I have been losing weight and consistently. So it'd be a great endorsement to his business. Like, hey, you know, he's on our business service or whatever. Look, he lost weight. So, uh, no, I would not be a sellout, sorry. Uh, I'm doing this for myself. I'm doing this naturally and to show the world that it can be done. It really takes a lot of willpower and of course knowledge to understand how it works for your body. Again, my way of diet or exercise may be a bit more extreme, so it doesn't mean it works for everyone. So please uh, find out your best way to lose weight. But I could advise how I do things, and you can try. Just like other people have inspired me to start on this, actually. Seriously, how I started, uh, I've seen other people do it, success. But they have certain diet that uh, I may not, you know, maybe approve of. Like, they are more extreme, there are some people who just eat one potato, or, like eat only potatoes. I've heard that stories like a few times, different people trying that. Potatoes for years, and then they lost weight. Obviously, you will lose weight, because you're also restricting your calories, but is that a healthy diet? You have to eat supplements and stuff like that, because potatoes have so much nutrients, but until so much, you know, because you still need other stuff that may not be found in that one particular food. I also heard people doing bigger diet, drinking beer only for a whole month, and then they lost weight. Obviously, you will, again. It's about various factors, but including calories, um, restricting the amount of calories you take. So if you eat just one food, and you don't overeat it, and you just remain it for a long period of time, your body will definitely start to burn off the excess calories and start, you know, you start seeing results. And again, losing weight is just one part of the equation, okay, one small part. It's about internal health, fitness level. So there's so many factors which people usually discount to think about. And usually this kind of thing that only maybe doctors, nurses, not even doctors and nurses, they are actually doctors and nurses are not that fit also. Uh, health, health gurus, I guess, uh, nutrition scientists, I guess, and stuff like that they would know. But to common people like us, it's like, oh my god, why are you telling me about cholesterol, good cholesterol, bad cholesterol, what's, what's different kind of fats? What's this medium chain, long chain, uh, triglycerides, uh, what's different kind of, uh, you know, uh, micronutrients, macronutrients, I, I mean, so much, which I know it would be overloading. Uh, not that I know all of them, I'm still learning as I go along, and research papers that I can read, or look at documentaries. So, 
So far, that is my guide, so to speak. So I'm not saying my this way is the most healthiest, but at least to me, it has changed positively. So, yeah. Okay, what time did I start? <laughs> Was it 10 30? I think so. Wait, but my heart rate is at 133, so that's good. So, again, for my height, weight, body type, so far I need to do 30 minutes for heart rate of between 120 and 130. Okay, I need this. Someone asked me. Oh, what's your diet? Hi, Aziz. Aziz? Hey man. Oh, what's my diet? Okay. Sorry, I didn't see that message yet. Okay. Well, my diet. I. For at least 2 3 years, I start cutting down the amount of starch. Because 2 years ago, I was literally gaining a lot of weight, like 10 kg, because that whole year I was on a Chinese vegetarian. I'm not saying it doesn't work. Unfortunately, to me, my Chinese vegetarian diet, I'm also hungry, so I keep eating a lot of rice, noodle, pasta, bread. And uh, although it's vegetarian, the Chinese vegetarian is full of starch and mock meat. I love mock meat back then. So every meal I have mock meat. And mock meat has a lot of gluten and it's very starchy as well. So that year I gained almost 10 kg. So at my highest, about 126 kg, which is uh, for my height and like I said, and my health. Uh, it, it, I couldn't sustain. After that, I kind of like stopped it, go back to, you know, omnivore, and went down. So in the past 148 days, the more extreme diet being, uh, obviously I cut off all sugars, I say refined sugars, uh, added sugars. Yes, recently, only about the like, past one month, because I started more and more baking, and I baked for others and my friend. So they can't, they don't really like the healthier taste of like non-sweetened bread and, 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 and cookies that I made and stuff. So. I did add some sweeteners like stevia and recently I tried coconut sugar but again in moderation like if the recipe says 4 tablespoons I may put only 1 or like just enough to have a sweetness but again I'm not depending on it okay because for me the reason being sugars it's not just that it's spike in insulin I don't have insulin problem I don't have like diabetes or anything hopefully not but so far the results have been not and um, and like I said a few years ago fatty liver indicator because if I go on it will be full-blown fatty liver which is a gateway to diabetes and many other internal diseases so anyway so cow sugar the only sugar you should take is like natural sugars honey is a natural but be careful it's very, very high in sugar so I uh, depend on like bananas and uh, other fruits sweet fruits or even roots vegetable like sweet yam to make into my meal okay so I do have my yes my starch but from roots vegetable which is better because raw ingredients not processed and uh, I know there's this thing about four types of resistance, starches and stuff. So I'm still trying to understand that. There's a lot of oh, many debates about it, like what's resistant starch and what do you mean when the when temperature change and therefore it passes your body so it doesn't absorb it, blah 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 blah. A lot. A lot. And there's opposing views from medical professionals and people who are health gurus that mention certain things. Anyway, sorry, coming back to diet. So I depend on lots of veggies and especially dark veggies because my first initial blood test I am low, not deficient, but low in B12, folate and D3 because for the past months I've been working from home not like in the past where I'll go out to work so I'll like commute and get some sunlight so I don't get much sunlight just so I can see very pale my skin I know I should go and do more okay not yet, not yet, but I will, I will slowly over time okay to maybe incorporate swimming down the road anyway uh, so my D3 was low so the doctor said you know eat more green dark leafy vegetables spinach and the likes right I do eat broccoli a lot and cauliflower so I know a lot of keto meals or diet is like depending on cauliflower to replace rice so which is what I have done before as well so yes lots of cauliflower broccoli and you need to eat your good fats so that's the keto way of doing you need 70% of fats, like 70% is a lot in a day. But I try to pump up the good fats by having uh, olive oil, avocados, salmon, uh, and certain nuts. Okay, so those have the better, healthier fats. So it doesn't mean that keto, I have friends who think keto means eating bacon. No, come on. Uh, bacon do have fats, but it's not the healthy fats. And yes, they say saturated fat is better now than hydrolyzed fats, which is like margarine. Or not, not all my certain margarine and uh, and um, certain plant-based uh, hydrolyzed oil. 
certain ghee type, okay? The ghee that I take, I do take, right? It's animal sauce. So apparently, they say it's better. Again, it's a it's a mix. Uh. My dietitian did tell me to just don't take any kind of uh, butter that is like can be not refrigerated because it means it has changed chemical into a uh, like hydrolyzed oil and therefore uh, it's not healthy for the body. Like try the broad across the board, hydrolyzed oil is just bad. Okay, be it like medical professional or even like those health guru all say the same thing. So okay, just try to cut away. Okay, uh, hydrolyzed oil. And there are certain kind of oil, it's not good, like you know, soybean oil, vegetable oil. So I depend more on olive oil and canola. In the past, I thought canola is not good, but then my doctor and, uh, and dietitian say that canola is still okay, you know. Take the one with like canola, maybe mix with olive kind of thing. Anyway, so my diet is one meal a day, eating at home, uh, mostly veggies and meat, uh, chicken meat. I do eat it with skin, you know, that's, that's me. And pork, beef. In the past, I did eat some processed like duck. At first, I thought it wasn't. Then I realized, no, it is processed duck, because they, they sell in frozen uh, form. And you look at the ingredients. It has like soy protein and many many other chemicals. So try to get something or cook something that has like no long list of chemicals at the back. Because the point is not just eating healthy, but the ingredients has to be good as well. Uh, I know there's again debate also organic and stuff like that. I'm not like saying I want organic, but sometimes there are certain ingredients I want. Apparently, my supermarket only have the organic type. So yeah. So for example, when I was baking, I wanted coconut flour. I couldn't find coconut flour outside. That's almond flour, yes, which is, I'm using a lot now. But coconut flour is like organic in my bakery. I mean the the shop that sells baking goods uh, ingredients. So it's like no choice, you know, if you want coconut flour, it's the organic type, which, is, which costs a lot more. Uh, so yes, there's a big hoo-ha about uh, non-GMO, and is it true or not, or they're fake, blah blah blah. <sighs> Don't know. Unfortunately in Singapore, everything is imported, like 80-90%. Uh, only a small part of veggies from local or even eggs. Otherwise, you have no choice. Unless you fly overseas and buy and apparently, apparently um, if you bring in, you get caught for buying lots of ingredients, you can get taxed and then uh, basically it's like non-stop. So anyway, uh, that's why it's, it's not... There's a lot of factors. A lot of factors into what is my diet. But generally, if I do summarize, it's like keto diet. Okay, it's like... I'm not saying it's exactly because I... It's very hard for me to sustain that like 70% fat. And then 20%, I think 20% or 30% protein. And uh, starch is like 10% or less, something like that. So that ratio is... is it's a bit tough. I'm not saying it's wrong or right. Again, it's just tough for me to actually start, uh, try to get to that level. But generally, my meals are more uh, dominated with lots of veggies. You know, potatoes, the starch will be right from potatoes, yams, carrots, and uh, lots of veggies. Spinach, kailan. Uh, and I use lots of spice. That's me. I need spice. So the spice does help also. And so there are some studies done that spice will link to certain health benefits. So be it curry powder, turmeric powder, uh, uh, what's that, paprika, yeah, I use all this. So, so yeah, sorry, it's a super long answer to a short question, I guess. But if you, uh, if you think that it's just one, it's like the key is just one aspect, okay, there's so many, I think. And exercise is also just one thing. Holistically, your life starts to change, cut away all oh, the junk food and stuff like that fast food uh, so which is what I've done in the past I've like always potato chips and uh, ice cream in my home for sure I'm eating like potato chips and ice cream every day so no way so that's when that's when I start cutting off and I have the addition to food I think I agree I really know I have addition to food and sweet stuff I have a sweet tooth since young so yeah cutting off this is the best thing that I've ever done for my own body and it works okay but of course if your body can take it Sure, go ahead. No, don't deprive yourself of the experiences in life, which is great. Okay, I'll envy you, I'm jealous of you, but if your body can take it, sure, go ahead. If you can't and you've done your blood test and body composition, like I said, there's still another aspect, visceral fat, which is the fat that's inside. Not the fats here outside, it's the fats that's inside around organs, and it's been linked to diabetes and other diseases as well. So, I'm uh, in, I think next week, or the week after, I'm going to do another body composition uh, um, measurement and see if my visceral fat has went down because 
three to four months ago, I think around March or February, my body composition has showed that my visceral fat is like 20. Normal range is about under 10. So I'm like twice the amount. So that means I have a very high chance, you know, going down the road uh, as I age. You know, everyone is ageless anyone. Everyone's body is deteriorating. Especially for guys over 30, your body is really deteriorating a lot. So, yeah. So all this got to change. Friends speaking, personally, I do prefer being big size, seriously. That's, that's my comfort zone back then. So, unfortunately, it's just not sustainable for my body, my health. Really unfortunate. Uh, some may say, no, that's good, wow, you should be slim. Again, I'm not body shaming, I'm not going to be a model, I'm not setting out to be like six pack and stuff like that. The point is health, 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 internal health, mental health comes first, okay? <clears throat> so it's very bad you have this obsession, if you have the obsession. I know a peer friend who has, I'm not saying that they are bad, but I'm just saying, <clears throat> If you only think health related to only having nice figure and all this, it's actually very superficial, sorry to say. But scientists, again, research have done. Uh, there are people who are big size who live to a right old age, 50, 60 plus and still healthy. Okay, so it's not always about the size. But size is an indicator, is an indicator. So therefore, you know, I can't discredit that being slimmer or being healthy by being fitter, the outlook and gaining muscle mass, of course it helps to increase metabolism uh, and for me specifically, I need to increase uh, core strength of my muscle around my abdomen because of my sleep this problem, it helps to support my spine which is degenerating degenerating because of the surgery so it's a, it's a no choice I asked before doctors, multiple doctors there's no medical procedure at this point in time to reverse the effect of uh, sleep this, you know uh, the worst they can do is implant metal rods inside to keep your spine up so that it's not compressing which is causing a lot of pain uh, because of the the herniated disc which is the gel like disc between the, the bones that leaks out and hits the nerve and that's why it causes all the pain seriously I've gone through that for years and uh, I do wish to repeat it and unfortunately there's a relapse last October so uh, because I was carrying some things and I hurt my back so and again MRI scan all this add together it's thousands of dollars no joke no joke Okay, anyway, I think I'll move on to my uh, next 30 minutes, which is uh, my muscle workout. Because I think, I think I need more than half an hour. Okay, 107, 107 heart rate, which is good. So it's between 120, 130 for 30 minutes. Okay, let's go. Let's start doing some, oops, I think I said I press. Did I? I think I press uh, stop or something on the remote <laughs> accidentally. Okay, Double Legends of Zelda Remix. Okay, let's do it. So, 30 minutes of muscle workout. Hi guys, hello. Yo, hi Jeremy, how are you man? Hopefully you're getting healthy. <laughs> I saw you're getting big as well. Huh? But anyway, again, if your body can take it, good for you, you know. No body shaming. Size is just not not an indicator, uh, not a full indicator of your health actually. Okay, so let's go. Again, I'm still trying to lose uh, certain of my visceral fat. I know I can't tell it's inside, so I need to go and do body composition. I'm just saying, this loose flabby skins also, yeah, I hope, you know, it'll be replaced by muscle instead. Getting, rather getting big like hawk or something. But again, uh, I'm not doing this as if a competition. I just know that the muscle helped me, okay, by health, health-wise. Okay, so before this, yes, I almost forgot. Let's do some stretch. First with that stretching, I might get cramps. So far, so good. Didn't get cramped. But in the past, after the surgery back then, uh, and the relapse, um, my legs do get cramped easily. Especially if, let's say, I sleep without having a blanket over the legs, it gets cold, and I wake up, whoa, cramp down, along, uh, down my calf straight away. Okay. Okay, as usual, let's do this stretch. Woo. Yo, thank you so much, Kombawa. Sawadee kap. Kombawa. Ohayo kasaimasu, ohayo. Oh, konnichiwa. Because some friends are in Japan now, should be lunch time. You know. So, konnichiwa. Anyo hase yo. Sawadee kap. Xiao hao da jia. Ho zao shan hao. Depends where you are from. I got friends from around the world who are watching, seriously. So I got friends from the States, US, some they're watching at night, some in the morning. Because I do it usually in the at night, like in the past, only once I think, once or twice I do it in the morning. Okay, let's go. One, two, three, 
Hello, hi guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for the likes again. Thanks for the love and the comments and the support. So I hope I, you know, encourage you guys to also, yeah, change your lifestyle, get healthier. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 11, 12, 13. Last week, yeah, I did do some of my muscle workout and I kind of strained my knee because I had a knee problem before. And so my right knee was like in pain for that whole week. And so now when I do exercise, I have to be careful with my knee and joints because of my weight as well. Uh, yeah, my, my joints are, are already, how should I say, hurt before. So you have to be very careful because it's more sensitive, I guess. Yeah, blast from the past, right? I saw the sign, it's a base 20. Okay, let's do the crunches. Uh, let's do the squats. Oh my god. Okay, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Woo. my uh, gym instructor. I have approached one a few months ago. Uh, by that time, I wasn't ready. I want to, like I said, lose the weight first, under 100. So in 100 days, I literally lost 200. Not that I lost 100 kg. I was starting at, what, 113? So in 100 days, I lost so far 13 to 14 kg. See the sign as well? The sign your body. Are they getting healthy? Or oh, you're getting worse? Hopefully you get fit. Six. Nine. I lost count, but never mind. <laughs> I'm gonna do a bit more. Just five. Seven. Six. 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Come, hello. Konnichiwa. Hello, hello. Sawari ka? Sawu hao? Or morning hao? Depends where you are from. <laughs> we mix music. Let's talk about strawberries or this, which I do bake. I still have, like I said, my love for food. But now that I'm on this diet, I cook for myself, and you know I use ingredients that is so-called low carbs or no less starchy stuff and uh, high fiber. Of course, lots of veggies and naturally sweetness from fruits. doing the half squats oh my god half squat usually is like not Achilles heel it's like Achilles I know Achilles are referring to the story but Achilles knees for me because of my knee problem so be careful how I do this uh, half squat thing okay let's go one because I'm not put, it's like putting the weight to three Putting the weight all on my knees and I have knee problems. So let's say last week I really hurt my knee doing this too much, too fast, I think. So four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Change leg. One, two, three, 
Okay, thank you so much, guys. Thanks for the support. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. Eighteen. Nineteen. Come on, twenty. All right. Next. Blast from past, Dr. Jones <laughs> by Aqua. This brings back to when I was like 17, 18 years old. <laughs> I listened to this music. Yeah, that guess how old I am. 39. But it's okay, you know. As you age, you gotta take care of your body, that's for sure. As you age more and more. To the next one. Okay, let's go. It never gets easier, but you know, always try to push yourself and you know, keep going, not give up. Okay, vertical crunch, vertical abdomen crunch. Okay, let's go. Music is like unusually soft, very quiet. Thank you. 
Is, yeah, let's go down. Let's do the floor, floor exercises. And this one usually, oh my, really, really test my abdomen and my back and my thigh. What's that called? You can find out what's the group of this muscle behind the thigh. This is calf, and this is a, uh, I don't know, leading up to the gluteus maximus, <laughs> to the butt region. Okay, let's go.
Oh my god. Okay, ten more. Come on, come on. Come on, buddy. Hi guys, thanks for watching. Sorry, Cup. Konnichiwa. Annyeonghaseyo. Xiao hao. Let's go. Let's do the. cooling down so the last two exercise at the end of this one hour of 30 minutes cardio 30 minutes muscle workout all right let's get down really really down i'm gonna use my stand and prop up my phone yeah hi guys hello thanks for the support yo hello hello hope you guys had a great time at work <laughs> See, ah, look at that. How the visceral fat again, not body shaming, but I know that this probably also into uh, indication of like probably a higher, so high visceral fat, but again, it's uh, physical, you can't tell. It's just that, yeah, I need to lose the weight because the weight is impacting on my spine, which is causing a lot of problem because of my sleep disc and had surgery, had two relapse so far, so can't afford to repeat uh, that problem. So all the more, let me see, oh, this brighter, okay, cool. Okay, let's go, let's go. Three, two, 
one and up. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Okay, three more sets. Whew. Hope you guys had a great day so far. I know it's the morning. Hope you had a great morning so far. Yeah. So please keep fit. Take care of your health. Okay, seriously, you only got one life. Only one life. Yes, you can say YOLO, you only live once, but you don't live once, which is a horrible life, right? Or a poor quality of life, especially if you get older. Trust me, I'm like 39. Yes, I'm not super old, but my body after 30, in fact, most guys, Scientifically speaking, after 30, 35, it, it deteriorates really. So you really all the money to take care of your body. Okay, again, not endorsing any diet plan, health plan, or supplement, whatever. Do what is best for yourself, but take care. Alright, you need to do make a change, be active. Okay, two, three, two, three, one, three, two, one, and up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Just like I was inspired by many other people who actually, you know, gradually change their habit and over years and stuff like that, get healthier and fitter. So good for them. And it's inspiring to me so hope maybe doing this actually inspire you guys also to do something uh, so far 148 days lost 18 kgs so and my fitness did go up did blood tests uh, and i also know my fitness did improve as well like i said really recently i rushed, i was running after the bus i no more pant in the past i actually pant like literally last year only last year uh, sometimes i have to catch the bus and it's like i run to catch the bus and i got out the bus oh my god like hey i was panting very heavily recently it didn't last friday i was going to a friend's party and then at Bedo, i ran to the bus the bus was there about 15 meters 10 15 meters away i got up i was like hey i don't feel the pant at all so it's like oh my god my fitness kind of like improved so that was a in a way it's a sign so that's a very good thing again it's all holistic so it's not just one part of that equation. There's so many things that will affect your health, like you know, mental health and uh, internal health, physical health as well. So it's a holistic approach, okay? You can't say just diet, you can't say just exercise, you can't say just stress-free, you can't say just, you know, there's so many factors. So overall, got to take care. Okay, third set, let's go. Three, two, one, and then up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And nine, thirty. Oh yeah. Okay, fourth set. Come pare, come pare. Let's go, let's go. Come on, let's go. Otsukare, otsukare sama. Yeah, I'm talking to my. Yeah, you can do it. Otsukare, good job, good work done. You know. So again, encourage yourself. Nah, sometimes you can't just depend on others to encourage you. You got to be your own encouragement. You got to keep pushing. So which is what I've been doing. So thank God it works, and uh, I'm going to keep going. Making a good habit, okay? That's the success in life. Everything in life is about making good habits and getting better and better over time. Like I did in many other areas of my life, you know? Like I was very bad, uh, not very bad. I didn't start photography at about, about eight years ago, I started. And then in recent years, yes, I did one sort of awards and a nomination. So I know I'm getting slowly better, but I'm not saying that I'm there yet. I'm not professional yet, but winning awards and nomination and being exhibited for some works, it's a way of a validation that uh, the hard work or the work that's been done to keep improving, you know, make a change. Same thing, your health, your body, your career, your relationship, your finances, you just got to keep building up. Yeah, I mean, the other things like finances or this, I'm still trying to figure things out. So yeah, that's, that's something that uh, it, takes, it still takes time to, to understand. I'm still trying to hopefully, you know, build a business or something like that uh, down the line, down the line. But for now, yeah, let's, let's concentrate on some things. 
and build some <laughs> cash flow as well. Okay, anyway, sorry, come back to diet and not diet, just fitness. Okay, fourth set, I think, right? Fourth set. <laughs> Three, two, one, and up. One, two, That's my level, my fitness at this level. 18, 20 years, never exercised before. Yeah, seriously, 18 plus years, never done a muscle workout. So now I'm hungry for eight days, I've done my cardio, and now in the past 20, I think 20 days, 21 days, I've been doing my muscle workout. So going slow first, slow and steady, and then, you know, up the intensity. So let's take it one step at a time. I think that was the third set, if I'm wrong. <laughs> let's go for the fourth one. Sorry, eh? kind of sometimes I talk and I lost count, but it's cool, it's cool. Let's go. Off. Three, two, one, and up. This is like a cooling down for me actually, but in a way it's also stretching my back and tensing, uh, you know, working out my abs, so to speak. 11. Never gets easy, but yes, definitely will improve over time. One step at a time, one baby step at a time. Okay, let's go, let's go. This is my stretching. <laughs> okay, let's go. Three, two, one, and up. One. Yeah, my legs and knees and uh, arms are all up. In a way, stretching my back and my neck. I'm only propped up by my belly and my pelvic area, so it's like, yeah, it's stretching, but this is a weight and it cool down, cool down for me because my whole now body is on the floor. Ah, so it's cool floor, so I'm cooling down. Okay, let's go. Three, two, one, and up. One, two, three. Two more set, two more set. Come back, come back. Okay. All right. Thanks, guys. Good to see you. Sawadee kap. Anyo hasayo. Xiao hao. Hope you guys had a great morning so far. Okay. I'm doing morning because this afternoon and evening I have work to do. So uh, I don't have time to do the workout or even go to some gym or whatever. So that's what I'm doing in the morning. I think in the past, I was hungry for eight days. I tend to do it like twice over two or three times in the morning. So yeah. Uh, you spend a lot of my energy. I hope the rest of the day I'm not sleepy, but I'm still trying to adjust to it. So yeah, not there yet. Okay, third side, three, two, one, and up. Let's go. One, two, three. Okay, okay, last set, last set. 
Okay, let's go. Three, two, oh, hi, Hannah, hello. Yeah, I'm doing the morning because I got some work to do. I settle in the evening and afternoon. So, uh, yeah, no time to do it in the, at night today. So, I'm also trying to see how much I can push if I can do morning. Because last few times I did the morning, the rest of the day I feel kind of tired. I didn't spend all my energy in the morning, then it's like oh, not much left in the afternoon. So I think as I get fitter, doing morning might be helpful. So let's see how it goes. Especially if yeah, depend on my work workload and work schedule. Okay, three, two, one, pass it, and up. One, two, three. Oh, thank you so much for the likes. Thank you. Terima <laughs> kasih. Six, seven, eight, nine. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Again, after this month, I think I'll slowly increase intensity or find some of the exercise to actually improve my fitness as well. So that's it for today. One hour of fun exercise, uh, 30 minutes cardio, 30 minutes of so-called market work, muscle workout. I won't say so-called, somewhat it is a muscle work. It is a muscle workout. It's just that it's a low intensity type, so um, using resistant band. And uh, like I said, because of my back problem, I have to definitely take care of the back and at the same time, work those muscles to increase hopefully metabolism, increase some muscle, getting some muscles to help support my back, my back especially. So yeah, in due time, you'll find out more, more, more ways to improve that. Okay, anyway, thank you so much guys. Uh, have a great day. Uh, usually I'll say, oh, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> sorry. Usually I'll say, oh yeah, so me, good night, but because it's morning, so, oh hi yo, oh hi yo, gozaimasu, konnichiwa. Uh, okay, selamat pagi. Okay, Anya Kaseyo, bye bye, take care. Oh yeah, before that, please, 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 okay, take care of health, inter uh, mental health, internal health, and physical health, okay? You can do it. I, I mean, if Tilly, a fat guy, can do it, uh, who's over 100 plus kg, 130 kg, and 140 days over diet, fitness, change, uh, lifestyle change, you know, cut off all the junk food and stuff, then, you know, exercise, uh, you lose the weight, but again, that's part of the fraction, uh, a fraction of the e uh, equation, a part of the whole equation of health and fitness. Um, yeah, you know, everything. Stress uh, level, rest, sleep, all this. Okay, so please, please take care. Okay, that's it. Bye. Bye, guys. That's it for today. Bye.